You've also said that you've discovered that you're actually quite a square when you started doing porn, just something that you didn't know before. Um, I did. Mm-hmm. So the first time I ever did was like, I was probably like 20 and this guy was just like, he was like one of those guys that really knows how to get it out of girls. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was like, what's this? I was like really floored. And then it took me like, it took me eight years to figure out how to do it to myself. Mm. And now, yeah, I have, I have quite a bit. And you've done some interesting scenes. Can you tell us about those? Yeah. So the ones that come to mind are one of them was the plot was it was a trans scene and it's my girlfriend. It's like a loving girlfriend scene. My girlfriend's an artist. She's a painter. And she's like, not sure what this painting needs. It needs something. And I'm like, light bulb moment. It needs me to sit on it. (laughs) So I all over this abstract painting Mm -hmm. unfortunately i really wanted the colors to run but the acrylic paint was so thick that it really like you know it got wet but it didn't really have that dramatic effect of running paint yeah but it did i so much on it yeah you really tried i i'm i i have long distance really like if this was like a world world records thing i think i could maybe so maybe, contend you know i feel like we've never we've never like had a contest we've never like lined up girls to see who could be the furthest i can put really far and mm-hmm. and a lot hmm. like i have like a strong stream like and like long distance you're like the peter north of yeah exactly i'm like <laughs> <laughs> did he win the i don't know if like like again i don't think anybody ever like had a contest but i think it's like kind of he's well known to be like the long distance long distance like he he could get very far yeah for sure it was like what he was known for so um you've also said that you've on expensive cars yes and i I was a vampire Mm -hmm. and started on a maserati which is what vampires do yeah vampires they maseratis this is what they don't tell you but i know it because i became a vampire and that's what i did um and then i also recently on a 1957 Thunderbird? Yeah. Can I ask you, like, whose cars these were and, like, how did this come about? Were they rented for the shoot? I'm pretty sure that one belonged to a director. Okay, so the he... Maserati. Okay, great. So he knew that was happening. Yeah, well, he... like, you know, when you get on a car, it's, like, mostly the outside of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, that was okay. Yeah. Right. The second, the, vi- the vintage classic car was a rental, mm-hmm. and they were kind of just, like, try not to in the interior, but, like, you know, you can outside mostly Mm -hmm. you said also that you would like to discuss men's what what do you have to say about men (laughs) well i do love men's i feel like there's just such a a stigma around men wanting their like attended to Mm -hmm. um and i just think that we need to get rid of that i think we all have orifices and holes and like there's it doesn't mean anything if you enjoy something in your Mm -hmm. that's just my little psa from for straight guys yeah i mean there is a lot of pleasure to be had down there and i you're right there are a lot of men that are afraid of that i think first of all probably from a cleanliness angle right like they may not be as careful as women sometimes are Mm -hmm. Not every man shaves down there. Um, but yeah, also like this huge fear that a lot of hetero men have of like being like. I think that they're afraid gay. to enjoy it. Yeah. Because, because that could mean. If they think it's like a can of worms. And if you like keep unlock. Yeah. Like keep it like ignore it. Then you'll never have a gay feeling in your life. It's like, like, the, it's like the gateway drug, right? Exactly. Like the, the gateway drug. To oh, like, yeah. Then it's being, a finger, then it's a, then it's another, and then. Then you're it. getting a double fire island and you have <laughs> poppers in your nose. It's like we went from to like mesh tank tops. <laughs> just, just like that. <laughs> That's what happens. I mean, what would you say to, I mean, as somebody who grew up around so much gay culture, what would you say to the typical a, you know, average male guy who is like terrified of 
enjoying any kind of play or being associated with like any kind of homosexuality tendencies? Well, I would say that like you, I know it feels hard in this world we live in to not be preoccupied with labels, but like just be yourself and whatever you do doesn't define you. If you like things in your, you can still be a straight guy. Um, and you have a G, you have a G spot in there. So like, don't be afraid of pleasure. Don't be afraid of things just because you are going to label yourself or stigmatize yourself because of it. Because ultimately this is something that we're doing. Most people are doing in private and mm -hmm. it's like, enjoy, explore, like, don't be afraid to explore. Mm -hmm. Hello, my amazing listeners. You know how much I love bringing this podcast to your ears every week. So if you're looking a way to support the show and get some fantastic perks, I've got just the thing, my Patreon page. With plans starting at just $5 a month, you can be part of our exclusive community. Your support not only helps to keep this podcast going, but it also unlocks some really cool bonuses. Imagine getting access to the live streams of my interviews as they happen. You'll be right in the middle of the action, seeing all of the unedited moments. But that's not all. As a Patreon member, you'll also get exclusive bonus content. I'm talking extra mini episodes where our guests answer questions submitted by you. Plus, you'll have access to my fine art photography and behind the scenes videos, giving you a sneak peek into my creative process. And guess what? If you opt for a discounted year long membership, you'll save even more while supporting the show. Longtime subscribers even get free HRU merchandise as a token of my gratitude. So want to join us? Head over to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered and become a part of our growing community. Your support means the world to me. Let's make this podcast even better.